Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Darksiders 2. Last time we got our introduction to Death and his journey to redeem his brother by resurrecting humanity. Um, so our ultimate goal right now is to get to that tree of life over there. But unfortunately, it seems like the Forge lands are being uh, attacked by corruption or something. And, uh,. So we're gonna have to deal with that. I think. Which, uh, anyway, here's a chest. Let's see what we got. Ooh, an upgrade. Wow, a glaive, huh? Oh, cool. I like it. I actually like these heavy weapons more than the fist weapons. Although the fist weapons are pretty nice. But, I don't know. I like the heavy weapons, they look they look cooler. <laughs> uh, but anyway, last time, I, I didn't really explain it, but you, you, you saw how the, uh, the souls impacted Death's chest and kind of got implanted in there. Uh, those are the souls of the Nephilim, which are the, the people of... The, the four horsemen are also Nephilim, but they turned against their brethren, and those souls uh, were kept in that, that uh, talisman. But unfortunately, during the battle against the Crow Father, it broke, and uh, it attacked Death and implanted into his chest. So it's his—it's basically his scar for killing his brethren. And yeah, they—they they don't like him very much for what he did. <gasps> no, they gotta keep the balance. These Nephilim were destroying everything, so. This is such a cool place. Context sensitive. Okay. Oh yeah. So we have a map. Uh, some stats. Some combos. Shows all the different combos. And explains our stuff. Actually, we should just like go through these. So dust is our is our bird. Uh, though he has wings, a beak, and feathers, do not mistake dust for a mere crow. Something more. Perhaps another trick of the crow father or another curse. Dust serves as a guide to the pale rider across creation's many blighted worlds. For that alone, death is thankful. Thankful enough not to slay the bird. <laughs> so I guess he doesn't really know it too well, but it's just a crow that helps him. It's kind of strange. And then despair is death's noble steed. Battle-hardened monument to the horseman's own power. Defeat is all but unimaginable when the two join to ride. Wherever death goes, despair soon follows. Together they strike fear into the stoutest of hearts. Heck, yes. That's what I like to do. Scare people. That's what I do. Ooh. She's the one we have to talk to. Wow, look at this, man. The Tri-Stone. This is like the main little... I don't know really what to call this. <laughs> the the hub area of the, of the makers. Look at this dude. Hey, man, what are you doing? Huh. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The makers are dying. And our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the corruption just takes over people, and he doesn't want to have to fight his own people. Makes sense to me. So he, he's going to train us in 
all these different attacks we can get. Ooh. We can get this one for free. I think I will. His name is Thane. Sweet. I wonder what that, that big old guy... I forgot what his name is. He didn't actually say it. But anyway, we got this attack where we can charge and do that. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I use that a lot, actually. It's probably one of my most used attacks ever. So we can actually fight Thane, and... Uh, the thing is, if he hits me once, he wins, basically. And uh, I have to whittle down his health slowly but surely. And hope I don't get hit. Uh, I don't have enough faith in my ability to do that right now, so we'll just fight him later. When I can just completely annihilate him. <laughs> I have gifts! Oh, Fraptious Day! It's Christmas again! In the land of makers! I think they have Christmas. Or maybe I just have a lot of gifts. <laughs> yeah, so this is the DLC thing. Uh... Yeah. This is where I'm going to get him all. Uh, I, I have every DLC for this game, so... I'm going to have a... Oh, yeah. Basically, all this gear in here is all for level 5s. So I'm just going to take it all. And, uh... We'll equip it later. And this is just, uh... Little explanations of the gear. I'm not gonna read this stuff, although it is kind of interesting. But <laughs> it's okay. I can't even wear it yet. Oh, look at all that stuff we have. Oh, so much to look forward to when we le reach level five. Boy, oh boy. And before we talk to Miss over there, I'm gonna go over here. <gasps> Because why not? Just talk to whoever. Hello. We've been awaiting your arrival, horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one. But I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adard does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death. We are without hope. Oh, Adard. That's that guy's name. The old, old dude. So, she sells talismans and potions. I don't really need any right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Who's this? Horseman. Do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone. Mordant dew and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Hmm. Okay. All right, we got a side quest. Sweet. I'm glad I talked to her. <laughs> tell me, shaman, what is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be. That corruption is hate given life, and that hate does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. Bummer. Maybe you should take some uh, some medicine. Or uh, see, see a doctor or something. You're a you shaman. Despair, <laughs> old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust, a circle everlasting. I cannot stop it, nor can I stop you. Yeah, I'd like to see you try, anyway. Tell me more about the Tree of Life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. 
Hmm. Okay. So, wait. What was her name? Shoot. I don't know. <laughs> Horseman. Good luck. Good luck to you, shaman lady. Wow, look at her go. Take root, damn you. Wow. She just made these plants grow. That's awesome. I never noticed that before. <laughs> Man, these makers are cool. I'm sorry I'm, I'm taking this game so slowly. But, uh, I don't know, it's just a lot to appreciate. Look, look at the art in this game, man. These huge statues over there. Dang! I love it, I love it. Alright, we'll talk to you, miss. Banging. Ooh, I'll take that. I don't use swords, but... Brother, we have a visitor. Who? You don't see me. Hmm. In a few words. Okay. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay. The Maker's Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets? <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? I pretty much have to, miss. I really like her accent. <laughs> what is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the Charred Pass, and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Hmm, okay. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. Oh, snap! <laughs> it's funny how Death just is he's just a jerk to everybody. <laughs> I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Okay, so we can't actually buy anything from her until we prove ourselves a little bit. Oh, it's you, horseman. That's right. I'm still here. I haven't left. This guy's pretty cool, actually. He doesn't have a hammer. He has this big old metal plating on his hand that he uses to hit. Look at that. <laughs> Hulk smash! That's one way to do it, I guess. Alright, so we up, I'm, 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 I'm done here. Let's, uh, let's try to find that cauldron. So they, they want to get their Maker's Forge up and running again. So that they can, uh, get their Colossus thing back up and running so they can break through the forest to get to the Tree of Life. So, I mean, we, we help each other out. It's gonna work out. Hey there, uh, shoot. Eingard, right? Let's talk to him really quick. Man, you're not doing too good, old man. The fire is more valuable than I, horseman. 
You should make haste to the temple. Fire alone won't save your realm. You speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, Lord of Destruction. Perhaps in that, there is hope. Hope in destruction? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Just how old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the forge was the first thing we makers built, that in its depths we shaped entire worlds. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Hey Thane, how's it going? Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Uh, I was hoping you, but... <laughs> Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Okay, so, uh... He doesn't really care if we go kill ourselves. <laughs> My god, that's a big door. Yes? Wow. I'm glad you moved that. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Almost fell in. Actually, wait. Oh, there's a thing in here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Sweet. So that's a Vulgrim token, I think they're called. It's just a different kind of currency we're going to use at a special merchant. Usually, like, if you ever see a body of water in this game, there's usually something in it. Most of the time it's a Vulgrim token. <laughs> I'm not sure why they're all in the water, but... It's just how it is. Okay. Oh, this place is so beautiful. It's really a big change of scenery. The, the first game took place in the ruins of Earth. So it was pretty uh, apocalyptic looking. <laughs> hey, hello. think it saw me? So yeah, that is the corruption barring our way to the, the tree of life. Yeah, I don't know if I could take that on. I don't know. So cool, man. Love it. Love it. So we're headed over here to the cauldron. Bring back the fire to the forge. I don't know why they just can't use ordinary fire. I mean, come on. Weeping crag, huh? Oh dear. So what's cool about this game is it's it's well not only is it freaking massive, by the way. <laughs> this, this game is really big. Uh but there's all these little side dungeons. Like, this is a whole, like, side thing. In fact, I don't even know if we can do this yet. Entirely. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can't. So, I mean, we could... I'm probably just going to come back to this. I'd rather not waste more time 
trying to do that right now. I mean, we could probably get a few chests in there, but honestly, it's not a big deal. And up here is a special merchant. Vulgrim. Over here. How you doing, man? He was in the first game. Greetings, horseman. And welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Vulgar. He kind of reminds me of that guy in Resident Evil 4. It always opens his coat. What do you like? Merchandise. Okay, so Volgrim, I don't know why you say, oh, I, I sell things people would frown upon. Basically, he just does respecs and sells random loot boxes. So, I don't know. <laughs> Who would frown upon that? I don't know. Uh, and legacy artifacts. I'm not really sure what that is, actually. Is that like a... Maybe that's a sacrificial item or something. Anyway, we have Vulgrim tokens, so... We'll, we'll just get this. Might as well. <laughs> we got a Vagabond cover. Ooh. You've made a wise choice. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation. Hmm. Book of the Dead. Yep. So that's that's a side quest that'll last us the whole game. Uh, I really don't know where all that stuff is. So I'm not really going to go for 100%, I don't think. There's a lot of stuff to get in this game. Holy cow. It's insane. But it's uh it's mainly just a lot of it's just to power up your, your character. And honestly, you you don't have to really optimize your character to beat this game, so not a big deal. Silly golems. You ain't nothing compared to me and my giant thing. What is this again? <laughs> I don't know. What do they call this? Oh wait, we just got a we got an item. Shoot. I forgot. Alright, uh yeah, what is this? Oh a glaive, right. Alright, we got this. Ooh, it's an upgrade. Shazam. Alrighty then. I really like how it changes your appearance. There's some really cool outfits in this game. For sure. Ooh. Upgrade. Oh yeah, look at those puppies. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> And that crystal over there is for a side quest we're going to get a little bit later. Those things are, again, something you have to collect all over the place. I really don't know where all those are. Holy cow. There's like... I don't even know how many of those. This is no place Hundreds. for Hundreds. <laughs> okay, so, um... I don't know, there's just a few chests around here. Oops, there's one right here. Let's do it! 
I'll just get these ones that I, I see along the way. Oh, watch you there, buddy. No! You're a jerk, construct warrior. Yeah, let's get these ones that are along the way. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll get distracted by every side path that we pass. Ooh, there's a Vulgrim token up there. I have to go alone. I have to go alone. Despair cannot climb rocks. For some reason. <laughs> Hello. You ain't nothing. Contra boy! Oh, I, I didn't notice, but you can hear those crystals. Well, that probably helps find them. Didn't know they made sound. That's pretty cool. This is no place for a horse. This is... Okay, actually, wow, I didn't realize how long I've been going. I think I'm just going to end it here. An invisible enemy over there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end it here, guys. Next time we'll continue on. Hopefully we'll get to the, uh, the cauldron. And we can start off our first dungeon. Yeah, wow, there's a lot of dungeons. I don't even know how many there are in this game. There's a lot more than the, the Zelda game, I think. But anyway, yep, that's the plan, so see you guys later.